Hey guys, welcome to this video. Um, this is just a quick video, and someone asked me, so it's just pretty easy. Um, so in this uh, tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to move a boardless form. So I click a new project, add a new project, and call it whatever you want. I call it YouTube tutorial. Tutorial. Press OK. So now it will build the form. So the main part of this, uh, uh, the first uh, beginning, uh, the setup of the form layout is to make it a non-form uh, border style, of course, because we want a non-form border style. So you can change the text, whatever you want. Call my name GNBJBNK. So now I, you can also apply this to the form, but I like to add like uh, just show to you um, here do you see this window has a little uh, thing here and this is the place you can drag it okay not be yeah not under it just right on that so I'm going to make an image and make that this uh, window stuff so I'm going to drag it over there here okay so I add an M a picture box I mean yeah. Okay, so I go to the properties and set the location to zero semicolon space zero and press enter. Now I go to this arrow and choose image, local resource, import. I'm going to import my banner. Hold, oh, that's the wrong one. This one, press OK. Okay, drag it like this. Make this a little bit smaller, like that. Okay, so now we have our nice uh, border thingy. So now I add a timer. Go to the interval and change that to two. Now double click on the form and type uh, any declarations of the class. Type in dim app location location uh, location. Okay, and comma and then cur location as point then a bracket and then a zero comma zero and then close the bracket oh I have to put in new as new point sorry just forgotten so now it says dim app location and cur, cur location as a new point and with the uh, x and y to zero Okay, the application app location. Uh, ah, wait a second. Just declare another private sub. So private sub. Okay, this this works the same as when you're using a module, but this will be public sub, of course. Uh, I just like to do it uh, right in here because it's just a uh, small code. So uh, private sub. Let's call this sync because that's to synchronize it. Sync, open and closing brackets, and what and automatically and sub. Okay, so in sync, I'm going to type in app location location. Okay, app location equals to the location of the application, so it will be me dot location. Okay, now I want the location of the cursor. Why well, it's okay that the x and the y. Um, okay, it's I called it here a cur location, but when you type in cursor dot location, it won't understand it, so it has to be position. So uh, it doesn't matter actually uh, if you call this location or position. Ah, uh, never mind. So it doesn't matter actually. So you can also call it whatever you want. So uh, I'm not bothered with it. With it. So you see. Um, this stuff uh, application equals meta location and cur location equals cur the position. Okay. Now I double click on my uh, image. If you want to do this, double click on the form. So here you see picture box. Click. Okay. When you go to the form, you see load. Uh, this is for the form. I choose mouse down and mouse up. It's the same as in this stuff. So also mouse down so here it is so I'm going to delete the clicks up 
and mouse up. Now we have mouse down and mouse up. Um, if you use the if you because I don't apply this to the whole form because it's whenever you want to uh, whenever you drag it, the f uh, the move the form you can ever you can move it uh, by grabbing this uh, place or this or this or this. So that will only work when you click on the image and drag it. So picture box mouse down. I'm going to type in timer one dot enabled equals true, and then timer one dot start. Okay, this will mean it will start count uh, ticking. It's the same actually as enable, but then when I go to um, mouse up, it's uh, mouse down means when you click the hold the mouse key in your right mouse key, and mouse up is when you release it. So timer one dot stop. So now it will stop counting, and someone is talking to me. So wait a second. Sorry. So. Uh, close this one okay um now um let's see where we have this stuff okay sync you see the private sub sync I'm going to add it here sync so it will execute this command so it has it's because it has to be synchronized so it will sync what uh, after every action I can say so now double click on the timer and type in me dot location equals to app location minus cur location cur location plus cursor dot position yeah it's pretty re weird but it never it doesn't matter so now it has to be synchronized again sync with a C okay so now it should be ready okay so now I'm going to test it out okay here I can't drag it but here I can drag it as you can see so I can drag it whatever I whenever I or in every place I want it but not on this stuff so you can also make a image for the whole form and then uh, when you have this image um, given in the background I'm scrolling down let's see if I get the component here it was something let's see ah I can't find it so there's a function or there is a um a uh a object ah here it is panel it's called panel so I can drag it here you can't see it when I open up the form but it actually works as a invisible button so um, this is um, whatever uh, play uh, not ever whatever place you like but okay uh, here you go to the panel and stuff like that so it will be background color to web transparent so now I can drag it not over here but, but okay uh, with the panel you can actually see the background and then you can uh, make the uh, when you made it the background you can uh, them you can actually uh, create a panel and use the same code as on the image so that's pretty cool uh, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, feel free to comment rate subscribe or email me uh, my email uh, uh, I mean when when you want to uh, email me just PM me on YouTube uh, or email me at uh, my name gnbjbnk at gmail.com but I prefer to uh, that someone's uh, PMing me on YouTube so thanks for watching this tutorial feel free to comment rate subscribe again and I'll catch you later